That's right. I'm not going to edit that out. Hi, I'm John, and here's what I'm doing. I am watching a flight that is about to land because I'm picking something very important up in Atlanta. And I think I'm still like 20 minutes out of, or I'm in Atlanta, but like 20 or 30 minutes from the airport. If you want to know how all of this started, there, there was another video. This is actually part two. Um, you might want to watch that. Although, it just shows me getting to Atlanta, and then going to Tennessee, and then coming back to Atlanta. Yeah, you should probably watch it. So anyways, we are going to the airport to pick up this mystery thing. And, uh, well, you'll see that in a moment. I'm going to start driving because I have to go. So, just arrived at the airport. Are you ready to see what or who I'm picking up? It's not that, don't worry. So I've now gone through this three times. I saw her on the second time. This is my third time through. I don't know what these lanes are for because they won't let you stop in those. And it's like the middle of traffic. They just keep waving you through and yelling at you if you even try to stop. I'm now in the curb lane again, but they still tell you you can't stop and keep waving you through. So yeah, I'm not sure how this works. I don't like busy airports. I much prefer Green Bay's airport feed store and tire market. That one is much easier. You can park right at the curb and walk in if you want. Hi. And will this be my wonderful girlfriend, Christiana? Hi. This, How's it going? This place sucks so much. Atlanta, I agree. Well, that too. Mostly the airport here. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here. So someone has never been to Bucky's before. So she is about to experience it. A beaver. Mm-hmm. That's Bucky. <laughs> so we are driving to Alabama now and you'll have to see what we're doing, but it's a very picturesque drive. Yeah. But yeah. You gotta, you gotta watch the road. I am watching the road. Oh my gosh. Okay. We've made it to Scottsboro and we are at Unclaimed Baggage. <laughs> so if you don't know what Unclaimed Baggage is, she doesn't, she's never been here. It is a store that buys all of the unclaimed luggage from airlines and they sell all the stuff to people like us. Excited? I'm excited. All it's right. gonna be great. Let's go in. Gotta take a picture with Jameson's mom since we're here. Well, Unclaimed Baggage was fun. Not as good as it used to be. I almost bought a camera for three grand. I didn't because I have to be responsible. Also, it was only like a few hundred bucks cheaper than eBay. They did have a PS5. They were doing a silent auction, but the bid was like 550 bucks and I don't think it would fit in my carry-on. So now we're gonna go to Zaxby's, which somebody tells me is the best chicken place. I don't think it's going to top Bojangles, but we'll find out. We have arrived. She insists this is the best, so we will give it a try. All right, so here we go. I got barbecue chicken. She says it's the best, but I have to wait because she needs to tell me if it's a good Zaxby's first. Well, first impressions, they didn't use very much sauce, which is not great, but could be okay. Also, they discontinued my favorite sauce, which is very disappointing. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. 
So we've got one of these machines, so that's definitely a plus. So I was happy with it. I would eat it again. It's no Bojangles though. You're gonna eat it again. Probably a lot. See that? I guess I don't have a choice. I'm gonna eat anymore. <laughs> so I had a little bit of time to kill. Um, so I edited the last video. Hope you saw it. Sitting in the kitchen doing it right now. Christiana had to do a meeting. So she's working on that because, well, vacations aren't always vacations. Sometimes you have to work on them, which is technically what I did Thursday, my first day here. But um, yeah, she's just about done with that. My video is exporting, so I should be able to get it uploaded tonight. But I think it won't be launched until I'm back in Green Bay. I'm not sure. Well, only one way to find out. So someone Miss Responsibility here, forgot shoes. She's wearing her work shoes. So we are at Belk getting shoes. Yeah. It's good because Belk is great. That is true. We don't have those in the Midwest. So it's her taste of home, a department store. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a thing, this really sketchy, bridge and we made it underneath sweet <sighs> yes. so we were going to take the incline which is the train that comes up but tickets were sold out so we drove up that was fun and scary but um most of the gasping and fear came from the passenger seat Don't know who that would be, but we, we wanted to film while driving up a like 45 degree incline, guys. See, I'm trying to keep your rabbit safe for you. The viewers here already know that safety comes third. <laughs> and also, this isn't the rabbit channel. Okay, but you're still rabbit. This is the What's John Doing okay, channel. Okay, fine. I'm trying to keep your What's John Doing safe for you. Good. All right. <laughs> so, anyways, we are walking to the rest of the way. Um, here's the incline, the top. Harry, we've reached the top. arrived at the castle. Any thoughts before we go in? Um, it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> that is the best way to describe castles. <laughs> Someone's hiding. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. This is fun. Just walk across the slippery pipe <laughs> right next to the giant drop off. a nice place for a staircase. I'm getting drift on. Oh, I'm moving. So we just saw a baby being hiked through all of this. And we're really questioning our skill level right now. So you see this slanted rock right next to the, the big drop off? That's fun.
That looks fun. You tired? <sighs> no. This is great. Well, you just tell me when you're ready to turn back. See the downhill part, which is what we've been doing. That's the easy part. The um, mile and a half-ish uphill. Yeah, someone just send a helicopter, please. I think we live here now. Yeah, this is our home. <laughs> I'm not... We're sitting on the couch right now. Mm -hmm. that, those fuzzy rocks, those are the bed because that's the softest spot. Mm -hmm. uh, the bathroom is wherever you want it to be. <laughs> we got a lovely TV. Lovely, here, let me show you the TV. One channel <laughs> and never anything on. National Geographic, that's all we got. But not like 80s National Geographic where when you're like a kid, a boy, you, you get really excited about it. We, there's not that, <laughs> not that kind of National Geographic. This I mean, is. You never know. You never know. Maybe. Probably like squirrels that are out there doing something. Yeah. Yeah, the topless squirrels. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were referring to. Oh, I see what you think I was referring to. <laughs> no, no. That's a whole nother. No, we're going to just. All right, moving on. just cut this part. Moving on. <laughs> right here it's a fantastic place for a tripping hazard I'm very claustrophobic so this should be fun it doesn't go in very far and I don't want to go in any further you could make a nice breakfast snook yeah there's water dripping in here too so I'm gonna step out before the whole thing collapses <laughs> Okay, so you're going that way? Yeah. Swimming through the lake? All right, hopefully we don't get separated forever. I am going to Aaron Ralston in this place. Oh, this is a nice house. I wonder where this goes. Slippery. That keeps on going. I am not going there. We have officially made it to Sunset Rock. Uh, next, we're going to Skyuka Springs, only 4.6 miles away. That's that way, right? No. Rude. <laughs> I mean, you seem to want to hike all day, so. Well, it says that we got to go up. So, yeah. that's the opposite direction. That'll be fun. All right, let's go up. <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan of these? No. Me either. It's been three days. We've learned to forage on the sticks and twigs. I've had nothing to eat but tree bark for 48 hours. And she's a health nut who was pushing that tree bark on me. Well, yeah, no, the tree bark was originally voluntary. I just want like Taco <laughs> Bell or something. So yeah, it's getting dark. Uh, we did make it to Sunset Rock. I don't even think I vlogged there. I don't remember now. It's all, some pictures. It's all I'm kind putting, of a blur. Put in the pictures here. Movie magic. There's the pictures. All right. <laughs> um, or we should just go back and, and take some video there. I think for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. So, yeah. It's getting dark. We're on the edge of a cliff. We have no idea how far is left. And we have dinner with someone at in 20 34 minutes. So we've, got nine minutes so we've got nine minutes to get to the car which is like nine minutes away from the park 
which we're hopefully within half an hour of hiking to. We're responsible adults here, just in case you were. Mm -hmm. I believe in us. Yeah, at least one of us does. <laughs> That looks terrible. It wasn't as bad going down. Yeah, we had gravity helping us. Gravity is no longer our friend. The last of the stairs, we hope. <laughs> you tired? Yeah. No. What are stairs if not an organized hill? An organized hill, I like that. Do you know where that quote's from? Not a clue. People in the comments. People in the comments. All right, so that was you guys. But look, the lights are on down there. You can't really see it on the video, but there are lights, I assure you, they exist. And we've officially made it out. There's the castle. We are almost through. He said the park closed in two minutes, a very angry park ranger. Oh, this is the fancy one. It's. So the raccoons can't get in. Oh, All right, and we have exited the park just in time. And for my fourth time on this trip, and her second time, we are at Bucky's. Seriously, the best gas station chain ever. If there was one of these in Wisconsin, I would live there. And I'm not joking or exaggerating. I would move in. All right. So, Miss Hoity Toity over here booked us a fancy hotel. We're at a Hilton. And she's upset that all of the Diamond Elite Reserve spots are taken. Because she's a Diamond Elite member. You don't need to be advertising. No? No. We're gonna be staying in a really fancy hotel tonight. She doesn't think it's fancy. She says the low level of Hilton. No offense to Hampton Inns out there. Yeah, I stay in like a red roof inn and that's fancy for me. I was perfectly happy with the house where the bathroom door didn't close all the way because it was warped. That worked for me. The bed was comfortable. What else? <laughs> it was free. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was a huge perk. That's, that's fair. The bed was comfortable and it was free. I will give you those exactly. two things. Exactly. And that's all that really matters. And the first one really isn't even all that important. Price is really what, you know, we're not going to walk out with scabies or bed bugs or fleas. And it's cheap. Those are the two most important factors in my hotel decision making. See, mine is... Do I feel safe there? Yeah? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and why wouldn't you feel safe at a red roof inn? I haven't stayed... We're not talking about red roof inns. Okay. Why I have didn't, a problem with red roof inns. I haven't stayed at one in a long time. Though. Why wouldn't you feel safe at this place we stayed last night? I feel like I don't want to give up. Uh, locations holes in their security but there were some holes in the security there were there were holes in the ceiling mm -hmm. but not in the security so anyways fancy hotel I will show you the inside it's gonna be fancy <laughs> we have very different opinions on what's fancy in a hotel I'm sure it's gonna be very lovely Mm-hmm. Very. All right, let's go. So, pretty fancy place. Um, their system briefly went down. So, he told us the room number and then gave us this. Uh, this little blue tag uh, will let us into literally any room in the building. So, he was adamant that we knew the room number. and. I mean, these keys probably led us into a lot of other things. If I were 16 years old again, that would have been a very bad idea for him. So I'm going down to return this and get the actual key. 
So here is the fancy, the hoity-toity room. The pictures, the matting isn't accurate and even. So this place is just trash. Well, like, look, look how uneven that is. I'm getting dirty looks over here. Um, very small, you know, red roof in, the room will be much larger. Although there are some nice built-ins. Let's see what we got in here. We've got an ironing board that no one has ever used in the history of hotels. Uh, we've got, hold on, hold on. All real hangers, not the ones that you're, like, have the little slots on it so you don't steal the hangers. So that's nice. Did you just say you use the... You use the ironing board in a hotel room? A couple of times for work. Really? I for work. So I had like shirts. Yeah, when I travel for work, it's just I'm all disheveled and yeah, wrinkled. All right, let's see what the view is like. Oh, these are fancy curtains. How do I open them? I can't figure out the fancy curtains. Oh, I see. They're remote controlled if they would work. Now that is fancy, but you see, at the Red Roof Inn, you don't need a remote to open them. So that is the view, beautiful parking lot view. Clearly we got the, uh, the fancy upgraded room. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom because that is my office, the most important room. All right, it looks roomy. There's the light switch. This is a very large, I think this is a handicap accessible bathroom. It's very large in here. Uh, granite sink. I'm not going to eat the soap again. We got fancy towels. And... All right, I see where you're going with this. So, it is better than Red Roof Inn, but I would not be able to justify the price. What was the price? Well, granted, the price was free for me, so... <laughs> I'll give you that. But if I were to pay for the room, I would assume this is quite a bit more than the 40 bucks I would pay for the Red Roof Inn. How much do you think it is? I if would... I paid like, cash for it. If you didn't use points, if you paid cash, I bet this would be at least 100 bucks. It was right at 100. Right at 100. So two and a half times more. I could stay two and a half nights. That is two nights in a Red Roof Inn where the room is bigger and the pictures were properly framed and 12 hours because two and a half mm. so I feel like the Red Roof Inn is probably the winner here you're judging me <laughs> I can feel the judge the viewers at home can feel the judgment I guess we'll have to just stay at a Red Roof Inn sometime so that I can okay. properly assess all right Folks, you hear that? I'm going to take her to a Red Roof Inn. And if she screams, like, abuse and neglect because we're staying there, you have it on video that she agreed to it. Who do you think I am? <laughs> so that is going to be this video. Tomorrow, I don't think I'll be filming much. And we are flying back tomorrow, so I can't promise a third video. But maybe. You never know. So... If you watch this video and it says down here that it has been online for more than 24 hours and there is not another video, another part or a part three, well then that's all you get. So maybe we'll go back to home improvement videos. Maybe we'll do something fun again. I don't know. Any any final thoughts before we wrap this one up? It's been a lot of fun. It's nice to meet you guys. Hi. They're saying it's nice to meet you too, but they're from the future. Oh, yeah. So, you're not going to be able... She'll read the comments, so leave a comment below for Christiana. I do. I read all of the comments. It's kind of an obsession. It's, it's sort of a problem, so... Like I said, she's my number one fan. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.